Hi, it's Dr. Jerome Fryer here. This is a upper cervical model that I've created. CO, occiput, C1, C2, anterior longitudinal ligament. We've got the hyaline cartilage represented here, as well as the perichondrial vascularization. Importantly, we also have the vertebral artery. You can see that. Right, as it courses up the transverse foramen up into C1 and then it takes an abrupt turn this one's got a bit of a kink in it but it takes an abrupt turn right, and it goes into the you can see the posterior um, atlanto-occipital membrane so rotation can have, doesn't look like a rotation actually has much of an influence on, on the vertebral artery, but what could have an impact is lateral translation. So let's do it this way here, but you can see that lateral translation could possibly have an impact, what? We're not totally certain, but nonetheless, it is a model that helps identify some of the pain generators, headache producers in the upper cervical region, in particular the rectus capitis posterior minor, which we know that has a myodural bridge, uh, rectus capitis posterior major, obliquus inferior, you can see here and the obliquus superior. So now we've got a dynamic model to show flexion, extension, rotation, as it has general influence on anatomical structures. You can see in here as well, we've got the apical ligament, the alar ligament going from the dens, up to the occipital, anterior occipital ridge, and then down deeper you can see the accessory ligaments and rotation. You can see the influence of C1 on C2 and its relationship. So, anyways, uh, a nice model now to help us understand the anatomical structures and the associated problems that can result with whiplash, for example.